Hey, this is LKB here for part two of my review. I just to sit down thinking to myself. Hmm. I just realized something. We've seen this movie before. <laughs> what? And you say, what? Yeah. Think about this, man. We've seen this movie before. It's just a little bit. You cut out a few things. You change a little bit things around. Change the pawn to Discord. Change the personality of the, uh, the um, Storm King to a more better one. Um, and you have this movie, pretty much, uh, the episode of My Little Pony finale. I can't remember which one, but we've seen this movie before. Remember the one finale when Twilight's house got blown up and Twilight went total Super Saiyan on <laughs> Super Saiyan <laughs> on and gave it she used the Kamehameha on, on the stuff <laughs> time for <laughs> uh, yeah I remember that episode with Storm King yeah it's pretty much that episode <laughs> change the pawn to someone else take out Discord out of the whole entire and you have this movie in a nutshell yeah, you remember in the episode where Discord captures the well in this in that episode, Discord upon captures the rest of her friends instead of her, and it's a fight between Twilight and the Storm King, which they convince him to let them go by some means of trickery or something, or talking to his um his compassionate side I don't know his desire for friendship or something anyway it's pretty much this episode I mean it's, it's pretty much this episode you change a few things around it's pretty much this episode. make it expand on it a little bit it's pretty much this episode it's pretty much the movie I wish I would have realized this sooner but I'm glad I didn't realize it sooner I really really a little bit better good thing I didn't have to pay for this movie <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't bad. It's still good despite it being a freaking carbon copy of another episode they made in on the T V series. The server updated in with better animation and some good songs. I have to say that Vinland Song I think they were trying to copy the Disney's Lion King for some reason. I I I've heard that comparison before. <laughs> oh, open up your eyes. Sounds a lot like scars, be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I give you it's a death song somewhere. Be prepared. <laughs> anyway, I swear if you wouldn't know what they could have done, have get rid of stupid Storm King. He pretty much really acts like a freaking five year old who just got a new toy. I don't know how this man became a villain. He don't know nothing. He don't even know. How to, he knows absolutely he's incompetent. Doesn't know nothing. Doesn't know what he think he's doing. He has all the powers of all four points. Like, what do you choose to do? Play with the moon and the sun. Pretty much. And be really distracted. He's like a four or five year old boy with no self control or brains, for that matter. I can't believe this. It was good. I'd say it's better than a mochi movie. So it's like middle of the earth. It's like. If you like this movie, if you, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it to somebody who doesn't like the My Little Pony because they wouldn't like it. This wouldn't make them like My Little Pony. I'm just going to tell you this right now. It would not let the, it would not, it would not convince anybody to like this movie. <laughs> it's not going to bring no new fans because it wasn't really all that spectacular. I mean, I can tell they were trying to also write for the bronies in the audience too. But the darker overtones and the darker color schemes sort of and not make it too cutesy, not to make it too far for the young kids and make it like in between some for the kids and keep the attention span for the kids while appeasing to the brony community. It pretty much sums up that thing there. Yeah, you know how in the episode with Discord, asked, well, you know how he was betrayed by the Storm King? Yeah, pretty much the same idea. <laughs> uh, 
uh, the Storm King promises the pond he's going to do something, and then he turns around and doesn't do it, or even does it with worse. I think the Storm King in the episode was actually way more better, because he actually, not only did he not give him what he promised, he took something from him. In this one, he didn't, he just told her no, and this went about doing whatever you, stupid shit he was already doing. He was already dumb as he already is, so really, I, I don't know who played him. Leon Shriver. Yeah, I think he forgot he's supposed to be a bad guy. I think he's trying to be goofy at the same time. As supposedly supposed to be a villain. <laughs> You're supposed to play a bad guy. You're supposed to be evil, not a... If you... Uh, we want you to play a, a freaking... A, a really bad 15-year-old. <laughs> we want you to play a villain, not a 10-year-old boy. With some... Oh... Uh, it's like a becoming boy who, if he got into a, got a hold to um, some power, that's what he would do with it. Because I guess he uh, said this is a show for little girls, so I was going to play it so as to them. That's right. Yeah. I guess I was guaranteed that that's probably what he was thinking. I said, ah, I got, they got me playing cast as a character in a my little girl's movie. I guess I'll play it. With a, that shit. <laughs> he, I say he did a good job, but really, I mean, I could have probably done a better job. <laughs> no, I mean, direction to rise. I mean, I wouldn't play him as so freaking that goofy. He's I mean, too goofy. I like these. They should have put the guy who played the original Storm King in here. It would have been more effective. Okay. He would have had at least some personality. And he really did something proactively in this movie. He really didn't do anything. He had everybody else did all the work for him, pretty much. Even in the episode that Storm King in this one at least did something. They don't even see how in the world did... Um, what's the girl's name? The Broken Horn. Uh, so I took my tongue. Tempest, yeah. Tempest, yeah. They don't even explain how he convinced Tempest to work for Oh, he promised to give her a broken horn. That's how they summed it up really, really quick like that. <laughs> you promised to fix my horn. Is that the reason why you decided? That's the lamest reason for having. You... Fix the horn. Her backstory. My God. I thought Starlight Shimmer's backstory was bad. At least, it, because Starlight Shimmer's backstory may have been weak, but at least she had a reason <laughs> to go evil. Even if it was the dumbest reason. This girl did not even bother to try. She just said, Group it up. Uh, nobody likes me. I got a broken horn. I'm going to go be by myself now. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> it, it, you, for the way she was talking, I thought she was like being laughed at by all the ponies in Ponyville, and they like threw tomatoes at her, and that, that's why she was all mad and upset, and why she was not invited to the party or something. Nope, she didn't even try. <laughs> she didn't even try to fit in. <laughs> she didn't even try to talk to nobody. Didn't even try to fit party or whatever. Yep, I'm going to go by myself over here. <laughs> but anyway, please like and subscribe.